Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about Spark columns in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So, if column is created with a sparse cross with it and it contains 0 or null, it will. So, if a column is created with a sparse cross and it contains 0 or null, so it will take lesser space than regular columns. So, that's why we are using. So, suppose if column has uh, some 0 or null values, so it will take more or uh, lesser space than uh, other columns like regular column. So add here, I'm go uh, here. This is the table one going to create. So SS number, so int identity tab, and here. So this is, so they are not using any sparse clause. So here, a uh, one table created with the name student one. Now refresh that. So there is a one table created. Now hereafter, I'm going to create another table with the name student two, and here identity and hereafter I am using a sparse clause. So now let's execute that. So here uh, the tool table it's uh, created. So add here in student 2 I have given a sparse clause. Now check the uh, sparse clause add here. So see SS number it's a uh, normal. Now hereafter roll number it's a uh, sparse. Now hereafter go to properties and here you can find a uh, sparse. So it's a uh, true. So true that means it's a sparse property enable. Now hereafter if you check there, so a sparse property add here, it's a false. Now hereafter I'm going to insert some record inside a student one and a student two. The same records going to insert. So insert into here. So going to add going to insert 500 record inside a student one and a student two. So it's executing 500 records inserted. Now here after the next thing is, so you're gonna check the records so here. You can use select a star from. So let's go check the record. Or uh, select a star from a student one. Close by semicolon and after select a star from a student 2. So now let's execute this query. So here you can get so see and here this is the SS number and here. So SS numbers are different and the same records inserted into a student and a student 1 and a student 2. Now here after I'm going to check the space that are used by a student 1 and a student 2. So for this we need to use SP space used store procedure. So by the help of this, we can determine the space occupied by the table. Now uh, execute. So in student one, I'm not using any sparse, but in student two, I'm using sparse. So see at here, student one here, 500 row inserted. So see in student one here, the res row reserved at here 32 and here 14 and here. Or uh, 24 here 32. So data add here in student one they are used to less space compared to student two. But in student two I'm using add here. Oh, uh, I'm using student two. I'm using add here s parse. So see add here s parse clause that I used. Now here after so s parse clause is beneficial when you're using or when in table has uh, lots of null or zero values then it takes lesser space than regular column. So now next I am going to execute at here some null values. So going to insert 500 null values inside uh, student 1 and student 2. Execute that. So 500 rows inserted into student 1 and student 2. Now here after let's check the space between 2. So see at here a student 1 here it's taking 40 here 32 so same now if you execute one more time the same thing now here after check the space so see at here uh, it's a 56 so check that in a reserve at here in a student 1 so there I did not use a sparse clause, so add here reserve 
here it's take 56 here 48 here 48 40 here 8 8 now here after if the table has uh, uh, 1 lakh 2 lakh millions of uh, null values so that time we need to use add here as parts so that to save some space here now i just inserted 15500 more null values now here you can uh, see the differences so 64k it's reserved here 56 56 here 48 so this is the reason we are using as parse clause in microsoft sql server so if table has uh, millions or lots of null spaces so that time we need to use as parse clause to save some space so see act here it's now increased it's now multi uh, multiple so it's take at here 136 so in a student one here yeah, a student one there is no any as parse clause and in a student two has some as parse or uh, clause so see here the uh, difference here 250 same rows and here it takes 136 and here it takes only 64 here data 72 here 56 here 8k here 8k but at here it's unused 56k and here 0k so that means if you use a sparse clause so it uh, takes lesser space than normal so that's why we are using a sparse clause in microsoft sql server so in this table has uh, like uh, 5000 rows but uh, if uh, you are doing some large project there you can get uh, million lots of records so there you can also find uh, uh, lots of null values so null values in the columns so better use used their as parts so it will take lesser space and the performance definitely that going to include so if you are going to check with the uh, performance you just select this tool hereafter or click on okay click on there so here this is a student one here so only these things and here this is the student two so add here carry cost relative to batch so 50 percent sp there is so many things here so this is the next different here this is a count assigned here after directly from this store procedure that go to this step this is it. so doing some multiple process that's why it take lesser space than normal table so as far as close that take lesser space than normal table so i hope that this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's uh, over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you